This video shows how to create a um, preview image from a video. First I show you how this works. So this is my w on WPF applications on Windows. Uh, first I show how this works on my small application. I'm opening a folder. Where is it? Yeah, this folder and there are some videos in there. And now you saw those uh, small images coming in there. When I refresh it, they will be reloaded. This, uh, this I will explain how this works, and you see it works quite stable on a Windows 10 PC. Um, on Im on Windows 10 with W uh, on WPF applications, there is not one big method, a uh, simple method, uh, where we will get this stuff. And. It So, um, excuse me. So there's not one, one simple method to get this stuff. Uh, there's uh, I have explained two uh, possibilities how to get this. One is one point is a, a combination between a virtual uh, media player at runtime with a drawing context, and the second version is uh, to use the implementation of direct show so this is a bit more complicated uh, but it uses the file itself and the second one is uh, with a media player we run um, we create at runtime a media player control and we're loading this uh, the, uh, in the memory space uh, the video and then on the on uh, on the on open event we we get the virtual context the, the the screen we cre we create a, a screen object or the screen area which will which would be shown and then we create the image from there so this needs a little bit more time and that's what i'm showing here because i think this uh, code will be usual uh, standard uh, at the moment uh, there's a we create what we have to do we have to create a media player that's uh, default and you don't have to do any extensions there in, in your code. And then uh, the media player, there we need the on media open, we say create a new event handler, which is this one. This what happens when the media will be opened. Then you have to set the scrapping enabled uh, on true. So this means uh, jump to a position like let's say one second uh, on, on the later point on when we open now the video with the URI with the uh, path and name then we say okay jump to the position in most cases uh, it's zero or maybe one two three four five or ten seconds like this so what happens when we jump to the uh, event media player open this is this code we say okay uh, the sender object is a media player and then we say okay drawing visual uh, we say okay uh, draw the area um, which of the media player if the media player would be a separated area and then we say uh, take that stuff from this area from take that stuff and create a bitmap render it as, as bitmap so render this stuff as visual uh, uh, area and then we say when you have this bitmap we say create an image and the source of the image is this image it's still in the memory and then uh, you may add it as a children element on there so I start it again I would say okay show me that folder and then when if you have seen this uh, these elements will be loaded and there's one one image here which I may show you this one um, when you load uh, when you have a, a video with the uh, with the option on stream op optimizes optimized for streaming <coughs> then it might happen that you have this uh, half video half image so you have sometimes to jump on 
on the event uh, media open position time spent from seconds jump to a further uh, position but it's not not really necessary in my case and um, in this case I didn't have a look on the direct show because this is more complicated uh, to do